Hey everybody, uh, it's Dr. Rick here dropping in on you. Hope everybody is getting your weekend off to a great start. As for me, um, it's business as usual. Obviously, a lot's going on. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, temporary, temporarily suspended all operations uh, that's program and community engaged. Uh, all, all operations and programs are, have been temporarily suspended. Hopefully just for the remainder of the week, but it doesn't look like that. It may be throughout the year. Uh, we simply haven't been getting any support and I am no longer willing to fund it. I mean, pretty much this year by myself. Uh, in previous years, I've had help from Dr. Blanchard. Dr. Blanchard has had a lot of stuff that he has going on himself. So this year it has been completely on me. It's been me 98% all the way anyway for years um this year support literally 690 dollars outside of myself um there's a lot going on that i need to get done and i need to make sure that i can be able to do that for me my family my future uh the future of my business and what i want to do in this world as a on a grand scheme um you know uh I, I'm not one of those people that's going to play the guilt trip, do the whole thing. People do what they feel they need to do. People support what they believe in. People support what they want to get behind. Um, I've seen... Somebody said something to me today. One of my clients, who happens to also be a subscriber, says that it's amazing how the people who are running the game tend to get the support and the people who are doing the work tend to get shunned. Uh, it, it, it's funny, but it happens. And so that's that. I'm going to do what I have to do moving forward. If you want to support the work, um, hit the chance to get us back on track uh, as early as next week is still, still time. Uh, this weekend, uh, we were trying to raise $5,000. The crazy thing is that's a person that's going to watch this video that can donate it but won't. Um, I'm sorry if it sounds like being negative. I'm just speaking past historical facts. Uh, I've seen so much done in so many different ways. And again, nobody owes me anything. Nobody has to believe in it. But my whole thing is I wouldn't spend a whole lot of time following someone I didn't believe. Just not. I don't have that kind of time. Anybody I'm in, engaged in is somebody I believe in and in some way I've invested in. Sometimes I'm doing what I'm doing and then jumping over and going and then somebody else is doing what they need me to do. And I've made that offer again this weekend despite everything that I've been going through, uh, uh, put myself out there. That's just who I am. So that's how I'm built. But anyway, that's the thing. If you want to support, good. If you don't, hey, that's fine. Uh, but I, I am putting it out there and... I'm going to talk and say exactly how I feel. Like I told you when I first got on here, I didn't get on here to be liked. I didn't get on here for likes and shares. I didn't get on here to be popular. Uh, unfortunately, that doesn't pay well. Substance, facts, real truth uh, is boring to our people. Substance, facts, real truth, solutions take too much energy, too much commitment, too much sacrifice, too much investment. What they want to do is they want to hear us argue they want to hear us beef with one another they want to hear us debate who's got the best solutions not really actually do any salutes do anything towards solutions we want to get, go you know are we are we right wing left wing that's the same goddamn bird shitting on us from day one it doesn't matter right or left are we conservative or liberal liberals been screwing us for day and we give them 90 percent of our vote every time we out i can go through this on and on so it is what it is but what I am going to do is I'm going to talk about this whole little thing. Roley's out there again. If you don't know who Roley is, I'm talking about Roland Martin. And and and, and, and the, 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 the thing is, those who know me know I don't go after brothers and sisters unless I just really have lost all respect for who you are, how you get down, and, and everything else. There are a bunch of people who are in the struggle that have done some shady crap to me specifically and specifically to me and my wife that I never forgot and I never mentioned in public. Why? Because that person has influence in the community and I don't want to sit up there and screw it up. I'm very respectful of that. But when it comes down to certain people, you look at them and I know they don't have anything to do. It's all about 
them eating. It's all about them protecting their platform. It's all about them. And that's who this guy is. This guy has been fed by the Dems for so long. He's been fed by the left for so long. And he's, he's caping right now big time for Madam Kamala who has done nothing but wreak havoc in black homes her whole freaking career in California. And yet everybody came for her. She's a Democrat. What possibly could be wrong with voting for a Democrat? You mean outside of the fact that they had a lot to do with the industri industrialization of the uh, inner city community, of the uh, disintegration and destruction of both uh, the Black Panther Party and the uh, uh, Black Panther Party and the uh, can't, can't think of it, 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 I talk about it all the time but it'll come to me in a minute uh, same one that uh, that had the same one that has the president now who actually wrote the crime bill that put all the brothers in jail for something as simple as marijuana that he's now uh, in his old age partnering after they've done 10, 15, 20, and 30 years for high bull crap uh, that Joe and then uh, go back to when he was a senator in the 70s and he fought busing because that would turn his children's world into a jungle, busing in blacks from other cities. I mean, from other uh, neighborhoods. No, it's just the Republicans who are racist. Uh, I can go on and on about the stuff that Kamala did, hiding evidence that could have cleared a man who was on death row, hiding evidence, uh, statements about not wanting to legalize marijuana because it would reduce the prison population and that would cut down on free labor. All this shit is verifiable. Okay, forget all that. Bill Maher, who is Bill Maher, just another person on one side of agenda talking a bunch of stuff that black people get on with because he's talking Democratic talk points. Uh, Democratic, Republican, they all crap for us, I'm certain. Uh, they don't have our best interests at heart. And that's just how I, I'm calling it. And that's how I feel about it. But uh, what I will say is this. Um, Bill Maher called for Biden to fire Kamala Harris uh, as his vice president. I find that interesting. I, I, I don't know if that's a precedence for that, but being that he selected her as his running mate, I'm assuming that he's the one elected president. She's just the vice president. She's a she's on the ticket, but I don't know if she's considered elected or not. I haven't actually looked at that. It's an interesting point, but that ain't the point. What happens is uh, uh, Rowley took that as an immediate opportunity to jump on and gain some some volley points and some brownie points from blacks by go coming to Kamala's defense and going pure ham about something. It doesn't even matter what he was calling for her uh, being fired for. The fact of the matter is neither one of them have done anything for blacks since they've been in. They made it very clear where their focus was going to be. It was going to be on Latinos. It was going to be on the homosexual community. They made it very clear. They never promised us anything. Matter of fact, they bullied us in the vote for them. If you don't blow for me, you're not black. Y'all don't remember that? But now all of a sudden, Ice Cube tried to get him to sit down with him. And everybody ate Ice Cube up because he said, we're well, Trump was the only one to sit down. He asked both of them to sit down. It wasn't he picked one side. He said, both sit down. Both of y'all are running for running for the same office. I want to hear what each one of you have to say. He was doing something we should have been doing a long time ago. It's asking for something solid that we can hold you to before you get elected. Nope. Biden's, let's talk about after election. Guess what happened after election? Tell Ice Cube kiss his ass. I ain't got to talk to you now. I'm in. This is something that happens all the time. This has happened to us. Look, since the Voter Voting Rights Act was uh, enacted, we have increased voter turnout at the polls every presidential cycle, every presidential cycle with exception to one. That was 2016. I think I'm, I think I'm right, 2016. Other than that, every time. And we have voted 90% Dem. And yet 
you can't find any progressive growth underneath Democratic administrations. Matter of fact, some of our worst hits, some of our greatest setbacks have come under Democratic um, uh, administrations. The Clinton administration ripped us apart. Obama didn't do a whole lot for us. Uh, and, and it's hard to find something that say, okay, he did this again. But what he did do is he championed the shit out of the LBGDQ community uh, agenda. He got on national television, gave them their own plug, fought for all different types of policies, put executive orders into place, all that. But he couldn't do it for us because it would look like he's paying favoritists. The stuff we fall for and then we jump on, they're gonna trigger us and a bunch of people are gonna get behind this whole thing because, oh my God, they're going after Kamala. How many of our boys has Kamala gone after? How many of our boys did Kamala know didn't do it? How many of our boys did Kamala know were sentenced far too heavily for the crime that they committed? I can go on and on and on about things that that woman did that says she's not my friend. She's not the friend of my people. That is the truth. And so why would I champion a fight or advocate a cape for her? Matter of fact, why are we caping for any of these rich politicians when our communities are where they are? Why are we caping when we can't even fund programs and they won't fund them? There's so many things that could be done. Let me tell you something. There are over 1,300 think tanks in America funded by power brokers that look at the current socioeconomic dynamic, the current political dynamic, the current, and understand where the power lies and, and, and are working and, and specifically working. There are secret meetings among the wealthy elite at least once a year where they bring their great minds, their thinking minds together to come up with policies that they work to implement into political and government entities by way of their economic force. It's always about money. Money trumps any elected official. Don't ever get that twisted. Okay, so here's the thing. These 1,300 think tanks are constantly thinking of ways to keep us where we're at. They know what to post, what to do to trigger us. They know what we do when we're triggered. They know we're less likely to actually think logically when triggered. And they keep us triggered. They keep us on bull crap while they're doing something. And we're worried about who's doing this and who's doing that. We're all in celebrity gossip. We're all in the things that really and truly at the end of the day are not going to be anything that advances our cause, advances. If we had an agenda, we couldn't advance it that way. We don't even have, we don't even have an, uh, uh, an agenda. That's the thing that we, 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 that's where we need to be is building agendas, building situations, backing programs that do exist. We can't keep funneling our young boys into the prison uh, system and expecting them to be able to perform on the times in the, at the times they do come out or the ones who are left behind to navigate a system that's designed to crush them. <laughs> we can't keep doing that and thinking we're going to win. We can't keep expecting our daughters to come up in situations where they don't have fathers in the home to uh, establish a sense of value that only comes from the masculine energy from the man in the house it's one thing when your mom tells you you're beautiful it's an entirely different thing when your dad does i'm sorry it is i have spent years studying this i have spent years establishing this i have worked my ass off to try to get my people to understand the importance of this and sitting up complaining about it isn't how you fix it sitting up and and debating well how right is he isn't how you fix it. How you fix it is you're gonna to have to get in and invest. You're gonna need some people to put feet boots on the ground. You're gonna need people to fund it. You're gonna need people to be willing to go in and work with some of the most uh, uh, incorrigible hard heads you can imagine. But if you ever turn them around, if you ever ever get them to change, that goes your protection. That goes the ones who will go to the mat to make sure nothing happens in that neighborhood that shouldn't happen. You, we need them. They took our warriors and turned them against one another criminalized them and locked them up 
y'all don't even get it. Y'all don't even see it. They, I mean, you think it's an accident? No, they know the ones who are willing to go to the mat, we're gonna get them early. We're gonna give them a reason to fight and kill one another. We're gonna tell them that th that block is important and they don't even own it, but they're gonna fight over it. We're gonna tell them that they can move these bricks, but we're gonna get them whenever we want to. Then we're gonna put them inside, let them work on each other some more. Then we're gonna get them out, but after, by the time they get out, they're gonna be institutionalized and thinking with a criminal mind and thinking of how to beat the system, but the system is set up for them to think they can when they never will. You beat the system by moving in a way that the system has not planned for you to move. That's moving back together, coming back together, standing together. That's by sitting up and understanding who you are. You can't get a man to be a man when he doesn't know what a man is. Manhood isn't by default. Malehood is by default. Manhood is by proper identification of what I am to become and then me consistently and progressively moving toward it. That's manhood. You got to give me something to move towards. You got to give me something I can trust. It's going to be that mark when I get there. The bag ain't big enough to make me a man. I don't care how big it gets. How many women I can bed in my lifetime isn't an accomplished that strong enough and consistent and intrinsic enough, uh, intrinsically valuable enough to make me a man. So what are the other things that I need to aspire to that's going to ensure my manhood? That's what we need to be. We need to make sure our daughters know how unbelievably exceptional they are outside of their pulchritude. They're more than a body. Bodies and bags is all our babies are chasing. Bodies and bags. And we don't understand. The boys are after the body and the girls are after the bags and, and nobody's doing anything. And they love that because that's going to get you caught up. That's a whole generation. We ain't going to have to worry about it. We have work to do. I'm going to get off. I'm going to get in here. I really need to have. It's been a week for me. Uh, putting down my program was not an easy decision but I had to make the choice that was best for me and my family. And I'm hoping that I, it's not permanent. I'm hoping that people will get behind it, but I'm gonna do what I can outside of that, no matter what. I'm not gonna stop. I'm not folding up the tent. I'm just not gonna do something that's gonna sink me and my family. Uh, I shouldn't be, even be expected to. So I'm gonna find other ways. I'm gonna keep putting out the content. I'm gonna keep sharing with you what I know. I'm gonna keep challenging you. Either you're gonna get it or you're not. But I'm gonna have so much stuff done by the time my life is gone. The people whose lives I can touch, I will. I'm mentoring young boys and young men as old as 40. So, you know, I guess that's where my attention will go completely now. But whatever it is, I'm building what I can from where I'm at and I'm gonna give it everything I got but I've also got a bill for my family I got to give them something that they can have when I'm gone that makes sure they're okay and that's that's another thing so it's a bunch of things going on but I'm gonna tell you something we again rip and and and, and, and Roly need to quit caping for Kamala but that's what he's he's literally built his bag off of caping for Dems He's been, he's very crafty and he's very well trained to sidestep the real issues when brought to him. He, he champions and pushes that you got to get to the poll agenda. When the real work is done long before you're ever old enough to vote. Think about it. Look on that note. Look, I'm out of here. I, I need done wine. I done done enough. I done done enough today. Uh, for my people, I love you no matter what. For those who want to support me, the information is in the description box. For those who want to take this message and do something with it, share it with who you want to share it with. But we have work to do. And pretending that you don't have it to do is not going to change the fact that it needs to be done. On that note, I'm out of here. You guys have an unbelievable remainder of your day. Talk to you soon.